middle of Hispanic Heritage Month and this morning we're taking a closer look at an effort to bring more equity to the farming industry. 95% of the people who own farmland in America are white, while most farm workers are Hispanic. But no matter what state you live in, the Hispanic and Latino population is growing. Wisconsin's Hispanic population has grown by about 75,000 people since 2010. Illinois leads the region with an increase of more than 185,000 Hispanic and Latino people. Throughout the whole country, Florida, California, and Texas's Hispanic and Latino population had the most growth. This is all according to a 2019 estimate from the Pew Research Center. Now, Matt Pearl shows how one group of Latino farmers is turning that growth into a lasting impact with the help of someone who knows all too well what it's like to battle equity. To run a farm is to peer a farm. It is to plant seeds and wait months, to cultivate land for growth and a legacy for generations. It is to dream for miles, even if you only run an acre. On a small plot in Hendersonville, North Carolina, Delia Jovel and fellow immigrants from El Salvador and Mexico pick strawberries and pack corn. It's their food to keep and sell on a space they call Tierra Fertil, or fertile land. With no experience, okay. with no equipment, it was a, a big risk, but we are a little bit passionate. We are not a little bit, we are really passionate about this. Trust is so important to feel comfortable in a country that is not yours. Among farm workers in the United States, the Hispanic community makes up 77%. Among farm owners, they make up 3% almost everyone else. The community here is invisible. Looks more like Ed Graves. He runs a farm in Hendersonville with his partner, KP Whaley. If you are an immigrant in this country, you do not have the money or the access to people or resources to buy a bunch of land. A recent Senate study found the fastest Hispanic growth in America in rural areas. Since 2010, the Hispanic community in North Carolina has grown 27%. In neighboring Tennessee, 34 percent. It's grown 50 percent in Montana, 66 percent in South Dakota, and 129 percent in North Dakota. No matter what the state, the community is growing, but ownership of land, especially on farms, remains elusive. Because you don't have time to say, ah, oh, I'm going to try something different. The main reason why you are here is because you need a stable income. You just need a job. Delia began Tierra Fertil in 2020. She recruited a small group to grow foods for their community. Their one acre. Wow, that's Matt. amazing. Was offered by Ed and KP. That's good. No rent, no strings, no limits. You know, KP and I are gay farmers. Like we're also marginalized in this community. So we kind of reached out because we want to band together. There's this sense. Um, mm for people that don't have a lot of resources in the society that land is power. Um, and what our shared project is, is about building community power. It is one acre on shared land. It does not erase the many hurdles of immigrant existence. What is your dream? Our dream is being able to create a I'm going to say that a movement. In the morning, Delia and her team will head to their day jobs, as they always do. <laughs> but from 5 o'clock until sunset, they are here. The first brick on a path of hope. It's not how much do you farm, it's why do you farm. And for us, one acre uh, is enough. In Hendersonville, North Carolina, I'm Matt Pearl. Now, taking a closer look at farming in Wisconsin, the State Department of Agriculture says we have nearly 65,000 farms on 14.3 million acres, with agriculture jobs contributing to almost 12% of Wisconsin's employment. For Hispanic, Latino, and Spanish producers, the latest info from the USDA National Agricultural Statistics shows that group totals 649. Now, this data was collected for a maximum of four producers to a farm. For the black or African-American population, it's just 73. This is all compared to a total of over 109,000 white producers in Wisconsin. 
Overall, 96% of farms in our state are family farms and 26% hire out help for farm labor. So with that, don't forget to be mindful of farmers on the road this week. It's National Farm Safety and Health Week, something we've raised awareness to since 1944 as a country. So you may notice a lot of farmers sharing the roadway, and while it may seem like waiting behind a tractor can be kind of annoying, think about this. Working in agriculture is still the most dangerous job sector in America. 2019 data from the government shows 573 people died in a year, or it equals about 23 people per 100,000 workers. For this reason, we're raising awareness this week as farmers get their crops in for the fall harvest.